Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at this Maverick Ion DT. Uh, this is just one of many uh, 118th scale models that Maverick actually do, but this is the one that I've actually had my eye on for quite a few years now. I believe this has been around since sort of 2014, 2015, so it's definitely uh, not a new RC at all, but it's just something that's quite cheap uh, and it's something I have actually had my eye on for quite a while, which is why I thought I may as well uh, get one, feature it on the channel, see what, uh, see what you guys actually think and then uh, go from there. Okay, so just before we open the box up and go into detail about what is actually in there, I do want to make a point about saying I really do like the presentation. Uh, Maverick's obviously gone to some length to make this look presentable. Uh, this is definitely something you could probably give as a gift, maybe like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. It's definitely something you could give to someone and they'd be very pleased to actually receive it. It just looks really good. It's definitely eye-catching the box itself. I reckon it would make a good gift. Okay, so taking a little look at what you actually get in the box then. So you get the buggy itself. Uh, you get the manual, which has got HPI racing logos all over it. Uh, taking a look at the USB charger, uh, the USB nickel metal hydride charger. Nice little unit. Now, I don't tend to use these very often because I've got a proper charger, but it's definitely something that would be handy for someone who doesn't have a charger or someone who's quite new. Everybody has USB sockets. You know, you could potentially use your uh, the, the actual plug that you get with your phone charger or just plug it into your computer or a battery pack or whatever you want to do, like a portable pack. Anything like that is going to work for something like this, which is quite handy for someone who's quite new. Now, the included battery that comes with this is a 1200 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery pack, quite small, and it does actually feature a little mini Tamiya connector. The charger itself actually has a full size Tamiya connector on it, and they do include a little adapter in the box to turn that into a little mini Tamiya. When it comes to me personally, I probably won't be running the Tamiya connector for, on the battery pack for very long. And I probably will stick some XT60s on that because uh, it's just what I run on all my other RCs. So taking a quick look at the transmitter then. So this thing is quite small. Now, being honest, it does feel very cheap. It's very lightweight and it does just feel really, really cheap to hold. Now, it's probably one of the only negatives I've found so far. You can definitely tell that this thing is very, very cheap. But if it works and the range is quite nice, I'm not complaining, but um, I want to be honest, it does feel very, very cheap. But um, yeah, not really a lot to say about that. You do get some adjustments on top, which is always nice if you want to tone things down a little bit for someone who's quite new. We don't know how fast it is yet because we haven't tested it out, but if it is quite quick, it would definitely be nice to trim things down a little bit. Okay, so that is pretty much that. That is what you get in the box. What we'll do is take a closer look at the buggy now. And go from there okay so let's take a little look and see what is going on under the body shell okay so with the body shell off we've got the 370 size motor there you know it's obviously quite small but due to the size of the buggy you don't really expect anything else obviously you don't expect it to be brushless either uh, because this is quite a cheap little buggy you can't really see it clearly there because all the wires are in the way but you have got like a two-in-one receiver esc type unit which obviously powers the motor and stuff and obviously the servo uh, this does use little mini Tamiya connectors, which I probably won't be running for too long, and I will switch those out for XT60s. And that's I've got nothing really against the Tamiya connectors, but I've I just run XT60s on everything that I own, so it would make sense to actually do that. We've got a tiny little servo down there. Now, what I do like, which other companies such as WL Toys don't do, is um, I like the fact that this little tiny micro servo here. It does actually use the standard sort of free wired connection whereas WL Toys use like a weird five wire system which you know if you do decide you want to actually turn this into brushless or whatever you know and you can you could pretty much run your normal receiver without an issue whereas with the WL Toys stuff and a few other manufacturers as well they tend to run this weird five wire system which makes it completely difficult, you know, or a lot more difficult for people who are maybe quite new, who want to run brushless. You do have to end up buying a new servo as well. So I do like that little addition there, Maverick. I do like that a lot. Okay, so there you go then. So overall it looks very nice. 
It's not the most expensive thing in the world, but it definitely does look like it's uh, fairly well built. Okay, so we've had a quick look at the buggy. We've also had a look at what you actually receive in the box. Uh, I think we need to obviously talk about the price. Now, this obviously comes in at under £70. I paid £69 for this. Now, there are some other uh, models you can actually get at a very similar price point, which, you know, could potentially offer you more. Now, I'm not gonna turn this into a comparison video because this is a video on the, uh, the Maverick Ion, but um, there's potentially a couple more options that you could uh, consider before actually going for one of these. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a nice little package for someone who is brand new to the hobby or you wanna try and get them into the hobby or even just as a gift. It's definitely a nice little package. Um, if you are maybe serious about getting into the RC hobby, there's definitely uh, there's definitely another option, which I will briefly show you now. You're probably gonna know what it is anyway, but it's at a similar sort of price, so it makes, uh, it makes sense to actually mention it. Okay, so when it comes to price then, so obviously this thing come in at under 70 pounds, but there is also another model which is very similar. Uh, it's also slightly bigger, but it is also around the same sort of price point. And I think you're going to know which one it is, guys. And that is the 144001 by WL Toys. Now, I'm not going to go into any detail with this. But I've done loads of videos on it. They're all on my channel, so be sure to check those out. But this thing does actually come in at a similar price to the, the Maverick Ion. Now, when it comes to styling, obviously this thing is custom. This has got running a custom body, custom wing. This thing looks great straight out the box. Now the WL Toys, I'm not going to turn this into a comparison video because we may do that at a later date, but with the WL Toys, they are far from perfect out the box. You know, that is my honest opinion. There, there are a few little things you need to do, you know, when it comes to maintenance and all that sort of stuff. You do need to go over those uh, in a little bit of detail before they are, you know, perfectly usable. Now, I don't know what this is going to be like yet. Like I said, I haven't actually taken it out, but once I do, uh, I'll definitely let you guys know if there's anything that sort of stands out or anything that needs to be done. But um, it's definitely worth considering the WL Toys. Now, one advantage to actually going for the Maverick is parts availability. Uh, parts are everywhere for these things, uh, pretty much all over the world as well as far as I'm aware. Uh, when it comes to the WL Toys, a lot of parts um, you do have to come all the way from China. I got mine from Banggood. I believe AliExpress also sells them as well. So they're out there and I believe some LC racing parts also fit this. But I think when it comes to parts availability, if you're brand new, you're definitely gonna break something. You're potentially gonna want the parts a lot quicker. So, you know, this may be a good option. I'm not sure, I'm just throwing it out there. Like I said, it's not a comparison video, but it's definitely something uh, to consider if you do wanna look at a hobby grade RC for a similar sort of price. Okay, so we're pretty much gonna leave it there today. So this was just my initial impressions, you know, like an unboxing type video, uh, just to sort of give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, like I said, I've had my eye on it for quite a while. I thought it'd be nice to actually feature it on the channel. It's not too expensive. Uh, what with Christmas coming up, you know, potentially maybe a nice little gift idea. You do get everything in the box ready to go. And I've, you know, it's probably gonna be really simple to use. And I'll probably really like it as well, guys. So definitely something to consider obviously i spoke briefly about the 144001 if you're looking at maybe getting something like this as your first ever rc you may be better off with something like that but again we're going to focus on this we'll take this out see what it's like and go from there okay so if you enjoyed today's video be sure to hit that subscribe button leave a like and a comment and uh, i cannot wait to get my hands on the brand new wl toys 124019 that is currently still on pre-order on banggood i have ordered it and it's just a case of waiting until it gets here and i cannot wait to get my hands on that thing uh, it's definitely very exciting i think that's going to be one of the biggest releases this year uh, you know especially amongst rc enthusiasts and people that like doing speed runs, definitely looking forward to that. But for the time being, we'll concentrate on this little buggy. We'll take it out, give it a little test run, see how it goes. And potentially it would make someone uh, very happy. Okay, so we're going to leave it there today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Yeah.